Okay, today I'm going to show you how to install a Cisco modem into either the 1841 Cisco router or the 2821 Cisco router. The 1841 router is just a little smaller um, and the, the Cisco 2821 has a few more slots on the back and that's kind of how you can tell the difference. I'm going to show you how to do the installation on the smaller 1841 router first and then quickly move to the 2821. They're very similar and it shouldn't really take you that long, probably about 10 minutes. Um, the hardest part is just finding the device am amongst all the cables and equipment back in your server closet. But once you've done that and identified the device, it really should be very quick to do this installation. The first step, just make sure you have your equipment out and ready. I have two because I'm going to be installing to both routers, but you'll only have one of these routers. The second step is simply to power off the, the uh, router. And in this case, I'm going to power off the 2821 router as well, just because it's a little noisy. But at that point, we're ready to go. For the 1841, there's only one available slot that you'll be able to use. You can take your screwdriver if you like. You probably will need to and just loosen up those screws, thumb screws, just a little bit. Once they're loose, you should be able to unscrew them just by hand. And this is a blank faceplate that comes right off, and you can actually throw this away. It's not needed. At that point, take your modem out. Try to handle it somewhat carefully by the thumb screws. And then at that point, you line it up to slide right into that slot and there's not much to it you just gotta make sure that you are lined up straight once you are and right now I'm not quite on target because I'm doing this at an angle there we go once you do that it slides right in now, I'm not quite all the way in I just need to make sure that it's pushed all the way in and seated all the way into the device at that point you can use our either your screwdriver or those thumb screws to just tighten it up a little bit. Whatever you do, just don't tighten it too much. It really won't go anywhere. Uh, just make sure that you loosely tighten it, I guess. At that point, you're done on the Cisco 1841 router, and you just need to remember to turn the power back on, and uh, it's ready to go. For the Cisco 2821, it's very similar. Again, the only difference is that you have a number of different slots, and I would like you to use this third slot. It says HWIC3 on the very top corner over here, closest to the edge and top. At that point, you can use your screwdriver to loosen up those thumb screws, and we're simply going to throw away that blank faceplate that's there, so that can be thrown away. Take your modem card and handle it again by the thumb screws if you can. Make sure it's upside right, lined up, and slide it right into the router. Give it one more push just to make sure it's all the way in. And screw in those thumb screws. Sometimes it's easier with the screwdriver, sometimes not. It's up to you. At that point, you're done. You just need to make sure that you power off the router, or power on the router, excuse me. And the power to the 2821 is in the front of the device. Whether you use the power cord, if you have a power strip, or if you use the power button, it does not matter. Just make sure that you power it off when you do the installation, and then on again when you're done. And that's it for installing a Cisco modem card into a Cisco router.